How's it going? Welcome back to the daily vlog. Today we're going to be doing some underlayment and vinyl. Just a small little kitchen. I'm getting a late start. It's like 11 o'clock. So I don't know that I'll be able to finish this today. We'll see. Anyway, let's turn around and see what we got going on. Anyway, this is what we got going on right here. A little kitchen, 216 square feet. Nothing dramatic or anything like that. So uh to start the underlayment i'm gonna go ahead and cut all these little feet cut all those feet on the cabinet to run my underlayment under that so we don't have to trim it out don't want to run trim on the front of that and pull the cord around probably start right here on this wall with the straightness work off of this wall let's do it okay got it all cut in you can see it's completely cut in and ready to go now. So, first time I've ever done this, I'm gonna try something a little different. It's completely cut in, but check this out. Ugh. There's no underlayment. What are you doing, Ruben? What do you got on your mind? Well, I'm fixing to pick up this piece of vinyl and cock a doodle doo. Do you have an idea what I'm gonna do? Mm. Okay, so here we go. Fixing to take and trace around this whole piece of vinyl. And all my boards then will be all marked out, ready to cut, and drop in the kitchen. Cock a doodle doo. Okay, so look at here. Like I said, this is the first time I ever done this. Might not be worth it on this particular job, but maybe one. Maybe one that was cut up like crazy. Might be, might be a good idea. We'll see. Never know until you try something out. So we're going to give it a go and see what happens here. Like I said, there's another vent right there. Might be useful on, on a job that's all cut up. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I must say that I absolutely love doing that like that. We got all of our cuts made, literally 10, maybe 15 minutes. We had every bit of one. All of these cuts made and ready to nail down. So once we get this nailed down, skim over, bring your vinyl in, get it lined up right here, go ahead and glue this, roll it out one time, ta-ta-ta, fold it back, glue this, work, this is good. This is good. Me likey. You likey? I like it. Alrighty. Well, this is gonna be it for today. It's like 3.30, almost four o'clock, so. I ain't gonna sit around and wait on mud to dry, and then wait on glue to dry twice to get this done tonight. So we will wrap it up and come back in the morning. Anyway, this was, like I said, the first time I tried this underlayment method using my vinyl for a pattern, and boy, I I liked it. If I had not got such a late start and then I came out here with just the underlayment, I wasn't planning on even doing the vinyl today. And then I was like, well, I'd like to try this pattern way. I didn't think there was any concrete out here, but turned out there was some concrete, something I could lay the underlayment out on, so... Right, I'm gonna go back and get the vinyl and I'm gonna do it like that. So, also took a trip to town and I got a late start. So, I only worked about four hours, I guess, today. Maybe getting stuff out. Underlayment down, vinyl cut in. And uh, mud put down. So, tomorrow will probably be about another half a day over here getting everything finished up should go pretty quick actually once we get the underlayment and once we get the vinyl in here i'll probably bring it straight in this door because i got it rolled up long ways bring it right here get it all nice and lined up here where it's supposed to be and then go ahead and glue this before i even roll the vinyl out in it and then uh just roll it right over into the glue once that's done and rolled then i can fold this back and just glue this strip that i got left right here after that, it's as simple as trimming it out and putting the fridge and stove back and stuff. So, 
Shouldn't be too awful bad tomorrow, actually. Anyway, I really, really, really liked this method of underlayment. I will be doing it again on cut-up jobs for sure.